What's going on everybody? Come back. I've got a Christmas gift you might want to add to your Christmas list and get it coming for your favorite EDC person. What's going on everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing? We're close. The big man's coming in just a couple of weeks. I wanted to get this video out, so if you're like trying to figure out what else to get your favorite EDC person, whether it be a man, woman, whatever, I don't care. Um, I'm going to throw something out there that won't break the bank, that's a budget. And guys, if you're just looking to spend a little bit of, you know, like Christmas bonus money or something on something that for yourself, here's a real quick one. Um, this is by Gerber. It's called the Arm Bar. You can get this thing in orange. When I say orange, the scale on this side is orange as you can see. Or they, I think they may have called it something else. But they have two different kinds of black and a blue. And I think maybe a stainless look on it. So, I'm going to give you all of my particulars about this thing that I know. I will say this right off the bat. Do you not have a clue what kind of knife steel it is? It's the Gerber Magic Steel, I guess. Because they don't list it anywhere on their website. And they don't, I've looked at uh, Blade HQ and a couple other places, and they don't list it either. Uh, right now, you can get, seems like there's two or three different colors at Blade HQ, and they got them like $27.99, something like that. Um, if you live pretty close to Blade HQ, it probably has time to get to you before Christmas. I don't know. It'd probably get to me before Christmas if I had to order one for somebody else. Amazon's your next bet. Uh, you're looking around 30 bucks from there, too. So, and Knife Center. You know, there's all those particular places you can get it from. Um, there's two versions. There's the Arm Bar Drive, which is what I've got. Then there's the Arm Bar Cork. Now what it does is the cork has a corkscrew and that kind of stuff, can opener, all that. The arm bar drive, which is what I'm fixing to show you, um, is the one I particularly like. And I've been using this thing at work. So if you want kind of a simple multi-tool for work, this is it. This, it doesn't get any more simpler. And um, let me back you up a little bit. It doesn't get really any more simpler or um, it's got just the right tools. I'll say that. Speaking of the blade, there's the blade. It is a liner lock blade, as you can see right there. Um, she's a little dirty. I've been using it this week. It's got a good deployment on the blade. I won't say it's the best in the world. I'm going to throw a little knife pivot lube on there and see if it helps it out. It's tight, but that's okay too. Um, now we get past the blade. Um, you've got the drive. You can't miss it. So the way it works is it folds out like so. It does not lock. So the way they want you to do I mean, the ways you can hold it, you can hold it. And it's not going to move around on you much. Matter of fact, unscrewing things, it doesn't move around at all. I have, will say it comes with a double bit. It comes with a Phillips and a flat. And what I like, I'll let you hear this. You heard that. That's right. There's a magnet in there holding that in. I like that. You know it's in and she's not going anywhere. And I just shook it to show you. So you've got the Phillips head flathead driver available to you. The next little tool in there is an awl. There's a little awl, and it's a sharp son of a gun. I'll give them that. Um, one of my one of my um, subscribers said it too the other day. On the last Gerber item I had, Gerber has figured out how to make stuff for work and make it work and do what it's supposed to do. Um, that, that's what I like about Gerber. Not only do they have good, uh, you know, decent knives, you're not going to find a, a bench-made type knife from Gerber, but you're going to find an everyday man's good working knife out of Gerber. 
Um, the other thing on here is a pair of scissors. A little pair of scissors. I have not. I was looking to see if I had any kind of uh, paper to figure out how to spin these things. They are spring assisted, as you can see right there. I don't have any paper out here. I can't believe I don't have any paper. Oh, whoop, whoop. Oh, a little piece. We don't care what it is. Let's see how they work. Because I hadn't tried that. Wow, they cut pretty clean. What is that? Huh. Um, so they cut pretty clean. I mean, they're not going to wind any rat races cutting paper or whatever you got to do. But I mean, you can. I can feel they're pretty sharp. Now, they don't lock either. So they just use a typical, not really a slip joint there. All right. So the next part on this is this right here. So when it's down like that, it's going to be used as a hammer or a pommel, whatever you need it for. Then you pop it up like so, and it becomes a pry item where you can pry stuff with it, staples, you name it. You know, out of you're not going to be pulling ten penny nails out of it. And ball opener at five o'clock when you get ready to, you know, start your party. So that's what it has. Like I said, it's eight tools all together. Plain, simple, small, compact. My only complaint, Gerber, fix this, and you'll have a 100% winner on your hands. Figure out a way, and I can figure it out for you, because I've looked at this thing multiple times, where you have some dead space, which is right in here, Right here, some dead space. Nothing sits down in there. And you can do this. Put a belt clip right there. Or a pocket clip. You might could do it on this end, but on this end, and it still slides down in your pocket pretty decently. And you've got a 100% winner. That's the only fault I have with that, is that it does not have a belt or a pocket clip. It's like a regular pocket knife. It just drops down in your pocket and you're done. So, that's my only complaint with it. Of course, Gerber's Mystery Steel, but I'm going to say this has been pretty sharp so far. Um, so, you know, if you're the guy out there that's wanting to get an EEC started, you don't want to break the bank, 30 bucks. I mean, that gets you started. And then you can get other things. And then one day down the road, if you want to upgrade to a, a better... Um, multi-tool and pocket knife and that kind of stuff you can do that but getting started and i know how it is getting started on some of this stuff it's not cheap and you know i've got some hundred dollar knives i got some fifty dollar knives but for thirty dollars you get something that's a little more than just a knife you get a drive set you get scissors you get an all this will even be a good little thing in a backpack or something of that nature so oh i will say there is additional bit kit you can get for this that has different bits so you know the phillips head works pretty good for what i do and if i needed it and the flathead works pretty good too i had to tighten up something today and i had to use the flathead and it worked i used it so anyways guys gerber arm bar you got a couple different colors see that gerber logo in there somewhere there it is so that's it. I'm going to stop it right here. Go out and get your EDC person or yourself a Gerber armbar. I recommend it. Gerber, I recommend it more if you put a pocket clip on it. All right, guys. That's it for now. This is Patrick, Mid-10 Outdoors. In case I don't see you again on video, have a Merry Christmas. Be prepared.